Hello guys, it's your host Stone Channel here. In today's video, we're going to play Gran Turismo 3 Ace Pack. So today's video, we're going to race on the Beetle Cup. So let's get started. So we need to buy some uh, Beetle car on the German manufacturer named Volkswagen. So I will buy. I will buy the cheaper one. This is a little bit expensive. And I will like this green car. It's really, really, I think, very good color in my opinion. So, we definitely tune our car because for the racing uh, conditions, all the car competitors are fully tuned the car. So, we need to do the same thing to win the race. Okay, we'll uh, upgrade the suspensions, brakes, and sadly this car is not a uh, turbo powered, it's a uh, normally aspirated power, so the, the advantage of the uh, normally aspirated uh, engine is, uh, I think when you turn on the cornering is really really uh, reliable than a uh, turbo so the turbo if you are brake very late and you want the full throttle at the exit of the corner it will be uh, the turbo will uh, pump onto the engine responses and will boost and you throttle and and it results uh, under steering of your car so if I wrong, please, uh, I think to correct my, uh, I'm saying uh, earlier. So we need to upgrade the tr drivetrain because this is a very vital one too. So if we don't pull some uh, custom drivetrain, uh, when I'm racing is not going to well So I will upgrade all of them yeah, Oh, there's no turbo And I'm using medium tires And I will book some uh, lightweight stage uh, I will upgrade all the stages Okay, perform successfully. I upgrade all of them. Okay, we put case already. And we GD Auto. I will also change the car. I think I need to change the rims too because it's really stocky and I really don't like it. I think I will change on the Yokohama. It's really uh, good rims. I think this is a uh, really really cool okay this is this is really cool and we go in the race and this is a last championship on the beginner league and don't worry we had uh, another league two leagues left is a uh, amateur league and also the professional league so this is a uh, five races so we're going to race it this is this video on this uh, races I will split onto the two parts because it's really really long process to gameplay itself so we're going to set up of the car so it's not there I think the settings I need to red height until lower as possible. Okay, I will uh, reduce the rebound and and also bound. 
camber angle I think it's there good and and it's good too speed stabilizer level 4 brakes level 3 level 12 and I don't want to fool the torque and this is okay because we're competing on the Rome circuit so this circuit demands a uh, high downforce because there's a lot of corner this is a street circuit we're going to start our first race All the competitors car using a VW Beetle Cup. Sorry, VW. Third, four. This is a Rome circuit on the old layout. The newest layout is not like this. And we easily got the first place. Because we need to full tune up on this car because a lot of car competitors using a uh, race uh, specs. Okay, slow down. This car is really heavy, even though I'm reduced the weight on this car because. The, this car is not have a downforce sadly on the Gran Turismo 3 we, you cannot uh, style on your spoilers because on the Gran Turismo 4 they added some a spoiler feature and the advantage is you can adjust your downforce and it's really cool feature but the Grand Turismo 3 is offers more simplicity and its menu and also its race itself. This is a great uh, Grand Turismo 3 series of all time in my opinion. But I hope the Grand Turismo Sports it has a really cool feature. Science uh, Grand Turismo Sports right now is still on the beta process. It's not fully uh, released yet. Okay, cars feels really heavy. Even though I already reduce the weight of this car. Third, four, break, four. So, on the car dealer, on the Volkswagen, uh, there is a uh, two types of uh, Volkswagen uh, Beetle. There is some uh, normal one like this and also the sport one and the difference is on its drivetrain so the normal one they are using a front engine drivetrain and the other one using a all wheel drive drivetrain so that means the very good car is a uh, all-wheel drive but I choose this because it's very very cheap and we focus on its tune and the looks like the competitors is not uh, looks so so uh, good when we are already turned up our cars so we got uh, our first 10 points we got uh, 5,000 credits where I got such a huge amount of money because I am competing the Endurance series and uh, Endurance series is 
really, really killed yourself because I already completed 90 laps. Yes, 90 laps on the Laguna Seca circuit. It's kind of be very tiring. I just finished the race. Only two hours, yes, two hours. Finish only one race, endurance race. We got easily pass on the leading the race. Four. Fifth. Six. Okay, break. Four. Okay, it's really heavy on this car. Oh man, I feel that this car is so heavy even though we already like the mouth. So the re the other reason I don't buy the RS car is because it costs 70,000 credits. So it's really uh, costly when we bought that car. I bought it very cheap, this car. And it's really helpful. Okay, we need to maintain our speed. Okay, really good. Oh, so heavy. Okay. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Okay, the final chicken, we will pass the start or finish line straight. We will go on the final lap on this track. Oh, it's already reached beyond of the maximum power. If you want to reach more of your top speed, I recommend it to change your drive train settings to gain more more speed. Six gear. This car, in my opinion, is really fun to drive, but I already tuned on the racing style car to compete on this uh, kind of championships. We need to win this championship to get our car for complete, completing the Bang in the League championships. If you are finished on all the competition in one league, uh, you will get uh, some a car and some ending credits except for the professional leagues. Professional leagues doesn't have an ending credit so it's kind of sad things. But the professional league uh, races one race each of them has a lot of laps you need to take care of it. So it's impossible I recording only one uh, competitions I for the amateur and uh, professional leagues. I'm planning uh, record this video only one race because it's really really long process. So we finish our second race. We got another 10 points here. And this is the last. Uh, I think it's, this is not the last, sorry. The last race. The, the last race on the next video. 
sorry, sorry. Is this is not a last race? Uh, the last race on to the next uh, race on this video. Sorry for my English because sometimes I I feel struggle when I'm talking English. So third race on the Seattle circuit. This is another street circuit. Need to take it off. Second, third, four. Ouch! Shit! Fury Beetle sometimes is really painful, but also really fun to drive. It's kind of mixed when you turning a fun car onto the racing style car to compete this uh, bunch of competitors of a uh, Beetle Cup car okay slightly drop FPS okay we oh really heavy when turning Okay, oh shit, you're really heavy. Okay, fourth gear. Onto the stance. Oh my god, really heavy. Four gear. Jump. Jump. Okay, brakes. Four. Okay, slightly drop FPS. Okay, this is the last lap. Last lap. Okay, need to. I forgot to turn down the gear. Shift the gear, it will be fine. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, it's really long straight. Let's see the gaps on behind of my car. Where is a uh, second sector? I think it's really far away. Ouch. Oh, oof, really heavy. Okay. Oh, so heavy. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. Final corner. Really, really slow hairpin. So we're going to end this race on the start of physics line straight. So we got another 10 points. Yes, we got another 10 points for the third race. Two race left, and we will won. Hopefully. Okay, 30 points is on our hands. We got another 5,000 credits. Okay, this is the end of this video, guys. Ne next race on the two next races. I will upload it for the next video and I will split all the parts because it's really really long process and again 
guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for this channel and put down some more videos don't forget to turn on notifications it really helps to uh, support for this channel for the long run and i wish you guys next video don't forget to follow my twitter and follow my facebook page and i wish you guys next video on wednesday see you soon bye bye for now stay tuned